Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It is the 1st of June and time for our birthstone make along colours for June. But before we get into June, let's have a review of May. May was emerald and predominantly the colours green with some yellow. And it was my birth month, birthday month and I had a lot of fun. So looking at the spreadsheet, there weren't as many photos posted as in the past, but going through who everyone who did post, the most popular colour, of course, was green. Now, I've said before, I'm not a fan of green, but I did yesterday wander across the road to my local craft shop, Cairns Create, and have a look at their yarns. They don't have a huge range, but I did actually find a green I like. So to go into our prize pack, I have selected Panda's 8-ply yarn in this colour green. It's only a colour number on the label, so I can't tell you what colour they call it. It's 100% acrylic, and there are 271 metres in the ball. So this will be going into our price pack. So May Emerald, it meant success in love, which I gave that some thought. So in March, Thing and I were married 44 years. Do we have success in love or we just got used to each other? Who knows? I do know at our 25th wedding anniversary, he made a comment in his speech that if he had committed murder, he'd be out by now. He has a warped sense of humour. So guys, that was May. So we're moving into June, which is the second quarter of our make-along and six months into it. Yay, we're halfway there. The birthstone for June is pearl and it means good health. Although my sister-in-law, who does not like pearls, would tell you pearls means tears. She is from India and she does have some funny little superstitions. She never wants to have anyone give her pearls. So, pearl, what can I say? I did some research to come up with the colours. So, natural pearls are very rare. Most pearls are either cultured in salt water or fresh water. And I'll give you a bit of information on pearls, which helped me decide on the colours. I'll have to read out my research. So, there are four major groups of cultured whole pearls. Akoya cultured pearls. Akoya cultured pearls are the most familiar type of saltwater pearl to most people in the US and other Western markets. Many customers think of white or cream colored Akoyas as a classic pearl used for jewelry, especially the single strand necklace. Japan and China both produce Akoya pearls. I do remember my mother having a single strand of pearls from Japan. I think my very eldest sister got those when she passed away. South Sea Cultured Pearls. Australia, Indonesia and the Philippines are leading sources of these saltwater cultured pearls. South Sea Cultured Pearls can be white or silver or golden depending on the type of oyster. There are pearl farms in Broome in WA, which is the north of WA. It's a beautiful location. Tourists love it. It has an amazing beach. When we lived in WA and over that side of the country, we have been several times and camping, staying at places. It is a beautiful spot. And I did visit the pearl farm and the cultured pearls. They are beautiful, but beyond my budget or things budget. South Sea cultured pearls, we've done those. Tahitian cultured pearls. Culture, cultivated primarily around the islands of French Polynesia. Most familiar is Tahiti. These saltwater cultured pearls, sometimes referred to as black pearls, have a wide range of colours. They might be grey, black. They can have blue, green, purple or pink overtones. So I have... Tahitian pearls. I put them on for you today. These were a 30th wedding anniversary present from Thing. I used to wear them a lot in my corporate job for functions and things, but I don't wear them much these days. 
they were a beautiful 30th wedding anniversary present. Fresh, freshwater cultured pearls. Freshwater cultured pearls are the most commonly produced pearls and they are one of the most popular pearls amongst shoppers and jewellery designers. This is due to their remarkable range of sizes, shapes, colours, plus their commercial availability at a low price. Sorry about the life noises outside. They are usually cultured in freshwater lakes, ponds, often that with many pearls grown in one oyster. China is the leading source of cultured freshwater cultured pearls. So I did that research because I just didn't want to say white or cream. I wanted to give some thought to the colours you could use in June. So we will start with, yes, you can use white if you choose to. Or a cream. You can even go deeper than this to almost a golden cream. Representing my Tahitian pearl. It's not a great colour, but this is the best I could come up with. It's a silvery grey. Now, if you can get a grey that has a silvery sheen, that would be even better. I will put a photo at the end of the video of my pearl here so you can get an idea of the colour I'm talking about. Three, June's going to have four colours. To represent the freshwater cultured pearls that most of us can afford to buy, they have hues and dyes put in them to make them coloured. And the most popular colour in those is dusky pink. Now, this is a dusky pink, but the colour of the pearl is darker and has a bit more of a sheen. But you can use a dusky pink colour June. So you have four colours. You have white, cream, a silvery grey or a dusky pink. Hopefully amongst those colours you will find one that will go really well with your project you're working on. Sorry. Even though it's late in the afternoon, the airport has got a lot of planes coming in. Our weather at the moment is perfect for the domestic tourism and we are experiencing an increase in domestic tourism which is a thumbs up so i can't object to the planes guys that's it for june so don't forget silvery gray cream white or more importantly a dusky pink because i really like this color I hope you're still enjoying the make along. Now don't forget June is our second quarter and six months into our make along. So I've decided that I will do a small prize giveaway uh, at the end of June. For those people who have posted during April, May and June, the second quarter. So make sure you post at least one picture on the Facebook group, make along group or an Instagram with the hashtag birthstonemakealongau. You can also email me your pictures if you don't do social media. And I have got a small group on Ravelry you can join if you want to post your pictures there. But um, it's not very big. It's entirely up to you. But I would really like to see your pictures and get some more posted during June for the six months of our make along. We're halfway there, like I keep saying. Now, don't forget, make sure you stay safe, you take care, you keep good health for June, and you have one crafty day working on your birthstone make-along. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>